Katie, thanks a lot for coming. Okay. Now what I'm about to do is teach you a skill that most people would love to know, and that's to be able to remember 20 things, keep them in your head, each and every single item on command. All right. You okay with that? Yeah. Right, now you're a college student, right? Yes. Where do you go to school? Sam Houston State University. Okay, you think you could find a place to use this? In studying, probably. Okay, <laughs> well there's lots of places you can use it. I know when I deliver presentations, I use this to remember my outline. So it's very powerful stuff. Okay, it's actually quite easy. So this is how we're going to do it. Okay, this is actually a combination of two techniques called the hook and peg and the memory palace. Right. Okay. So what we're going to do, just to get things started out, is create a palace, right, which is a big area in your head that you can see so well that you can walk through it, you can see it, hear it, smell everything that's around you, okay? And you're going to use all that information to remember things. It's just like in your apartment or your house, if I were to ask where the spatulas were, mm -hmm. or even where a towel was, you know exactly where it is, you can right. see it in your head, right? But we're going to create these rooms in your head, plant things or items that you're going to remember, and you're going to be able to pull them back okay. from your memory. Ready? Yep. Okay, so let's start. So I want you to think back in your life and pick something, pick a place that you know very well. Could be a childhood home, a place you used to work, uh, a place you used to go all the time, a place that has rooms and, and windows and, and so on. Okay, do you have something in mind? The house that I grew up in. The house that you grew up in? Okay, what size of house was it? It's a three bedroom house. Three bedroom? Okay, good. Okay, that's all we need. So this is what we're going to do. Okay, I want you to really think about your house now. So now stand in front of the house okay. so you can see the front door. Okay. Okay. Is there a gate in front of the house? No, there's an arch though. There's an arch? Okay, okay. that's going to be your first position. Okay? okay. Now, anybody can do this. All you have to do is think of a place that you know very well and then you'll be able to create this same thing. Okay, so first of all, you're standing outside, you're looking at the arch in your mind's eye. All right? Now, what I want you to do is put something in that image. And this is something that's going to be there all the time. All right? Okay. It's something that rhymes with the number one, and it's a gun. So in this image, put a gun. But don't just put a little tiny gun on the floor. Make it big, stretch it out, make it exaggerated, make it something that you know you're going to remember, something very different. Okay. okay. So do you see it? Mm -hmm. See the gun in this archway? Yeah. One gun and you can see that picture, right? Okay, now walk through the archway. Now we're gonna to go to the second place in your memory palace. Now in your case, what do you see next? So you're walking through the, the archway, what do you see, the front door or a porch? The door. Or... Okay, so you see the front door. So you're walking up on the front door, what does it look like? What mm, color is it? It's green. It's green, okay, great. So I'm gonna ask you to put something here too. You ready? This is the second place. Two, shoe. Okay. So you look at the image, put a shoe, make it a giant shoe, maybe put a face on it, it's talking, it's doing something. Do you see it? Yeah. Is it weird? It's strange? Just it can be weird, strange, <laughs> large, even disgusting. It doesn't matter. You're the only one who's going to reference it, okay? Two, shoe, door. Two. Okay. Now open the door, walk in. What do you see? There's a, like a... Like a window sill type of thing. Oh, okay. Like a walkway. So there's a walkway just inside the door. Let's call it walkway. This is going to be your third area. Maybe this is where people put shoes and things like that. Is that what, what you're saying? Right. Okay. Number three, put a tree. Some kind of tree. It can even be going up the whole side of the wall and over the top <laughs> if you want it to. Okay? okay. Three tree. Three tree. Got it? Got it. Okay. Is there a room nearby? My bedroom is off to the right. To the right. Okay. So turn right. Okay. You walk into the door, you see the bedroom, right? Is, is there a bed there somewhere mm -hmm. in the room? It's right. a bunk bed. It's a bunk bed, <laughs> okay. Let's look at the bunk bed, okay? This is four. four. Door. Put a door on the bunk bed. It sounds weird. Why would you put a door on a bunk bed, right? Four door bunk bed. You got it? Got it. Is it a weird picture? <laughs> Very strange. <laughs> Very strange. Okay, look around the room. What would you normally look at next in the room? Is there a window? Is there a strange piece of furniture or anything like that? My window is weird. It's really high to the ceiling, so you can't really reach can't it. Can't see. All right. Well, let's say you look up at the window, right? Okay. If you wanted to, you could put things up there, right? Or you could have stuff dripping from the window. You could do all kinds of things with that scene, right? Right. This is number five. 
What I want you to put up in that windowsill is a beehive. Okay. You see it? It's funny. Is it noisy? Okay, it's strange. Maybe there's honey dripping out of it. Make it very vivid, very rich. Okay. Okay? Good. Now let's leave your room. Okay? Where are we going to go to next? We're walking out of your room. What do we, what do we see next? There's an entryway to the living room and to the kitchen. An entryway to the living room and the kitchen. So there's two doors? It was or like it goes the both. kitchen went forward and the living room was off to the side. Okay, good. So right where they split, right in that middle area, let's do our next thing. Okay, the next thing is sticks. What kind of sticks? Giant sticks from a tree, drum sticks? What kind of sticks? Work it into a picture. Okay. Dramatic, weird. If you have to force it, then make it strange. Okay, make okay. them alive. Okay, you got it? Got it. See it? Okay, now which room are we going to move into? The living room. Living room, bam, in the living room. Describe it to me for a second. Uh, there was, this, when you first walked in, there was a couch, there was two couches off to the side. When you looked forward, there was big windows because we had remodeled it. Oh, good. Let's look at the couches. Okay. Okay. And we're going to put things on the couches. What was the last thing we did? The last there were, thing? There were sticks, sticks, right? Right. Okay. So now we're going to do, this is the seventh area, right? Okay. This is seven. It must be pretty comfortable on those couches, right? Let's yeah, call this is. heaven. Okay. So change Can those couches. Make them <laughs> heavenly. Okay. This is heaven. Right. Got it? Okay. okay. Right. We're on to eight. You said there's a beautiful big window? Yes. Is that what I remember? Okay. So look out the window. What do you see out there? The yard. The yard. Okay. You can see the yard, the garage, the back gate. The... Gate. Let's go with that. Okay. Eight. Gate. Eight gate. You look out the window at the gate. Okay. Okay. It's great. It's already tied to it, right? So look at <laughs> my gate. Do something to remember the gate. Make it a very vivid color. Look funny. Do something to it. Okay. Okay. Right. Now where are we going to go? What else? Is there anything else interesting in the living room to look at before we move on? No, really. Okay. So where are we going to move on next? Uh, we have the dining room. Dining room. So there must be a big table in the dining room, yeah? It was a breakfast nook. A breakfast nook. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Let's go with <laughs> breakfast nook. We just did, what, eight? Eight, which is the gate. gate looking out the window. Okay, now we're going to go to the breakfast nook. Yeah, this is nine. Nine wine. Nine. Nine wine. Okay, so incorporate wine. Maybe it's a breakfast nook. Maybe there's a big wine barrel there as part of it. I don't know, but put it in place, make it vivid. Okay. Emphasize things. Okay, got it? Okay, now where are we moving on to? What else in the living room? Anything, anything else in the dining room, I'm sorry, too? No. That stands out? Okay, where we move next? Where are we going next? The kitchen. We go to the kitchen. Okay, we walk into the kitchen. What's the first thing you notice? Cabinets. Cabinets, okay. So look at the cabinets. We just did the, the see, we did the, the nook, which was wine. wine. Okay, wine, nine, this is 10. Okay. Okay, now. You're going to go over to the cabinets, you're going to open the cabinets, and this hen, this chicken, this hen is going to jump out, feathers are going to go everywhere and run over your shoulder, okay? Okay. You got it? Okay. So that's 10. Now where would we look? Maybe the sink, maybe the fridge? Fridge. You want to look in the fridge? Yeah. You sure we want to look in the fridge? We're going to see some stuff in the fridge. Okay, let's open the fridge. It's okay, don't be scared. It's okay. scared. You open the fridge, okay? okay? And now we have to put our 11th item in the fridge. Okay. 11. Do you have a friend, Kevin or Devin? I do or... have a friend named Kevin. Kevin. Put Kevin in the fridge. How's he feel about that? Feels good? <laughs> Maybe. He's always, he's always <laughs> going to be in the fridge, right? Okay. He's in the fridge. Now you're still in the kitchen. Look at the kitchen sink. Okay. Would you ever look at the kitchen sink? Or you washing dishes is not your thing? I did dishes sometimes. Okay. So let's assume that you're looking at the sink. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we just did 11. Okay. Kevin, in the fridge. He's in the fridge. Now this is 12. You don't like washing dishes, right? 12, nothing rhymes with 12. Let's use hell, the term hell. Like All heaven, right. hell. We All hate right. doing dishes anyway, right? <laughs> Let's have some flames coming out of there, okay? So flames are coming out of the kitchen sink. Right? Okay. 12. 13, where are we going to go now? There's a bathroom connected to the kitchen. There's a bathroom connected to the kitchen? Like a mudroom and then it goes into a bathroom. 
Okay. Well, let's go to the mud room first. Okay. I've never heard it called a mud room. That's interesting. Is that where your boots come off? Or... Yeah, the so dog kind of food was there, laundry was dog food. there. Oh, okay, beautiful. So let's go into the mud room. Okay. We just did 12. Hell, flames coming out of the sink. Now we're on to 13. Okay. And with all of the teen numbers, we're going to change the, the word that reminds us of the number. Okay? Okay. So we walk here, we're in the mud room. 13 hurting. Hurting. 13 hurting. So you're in there, you touch something, grab something, and it hurts. Okay. Maybe it pinches your, your hands like, oh, okay. whatever it is. Okay? You got it? You see it clearly? I got it. Well, I don't even have to know what it is. <laughs> or you have to know what it is. Okay? 13 hurting. All right. Now there's the, the bathroom there, right? Right. Is that what you said? Okay. 14, farting. That's right, farting, letting out gas, <laughs> farting. It's okay, because with memory, the, the stranger, weirdest, most <laughs> vulgar things are the things that you're going to remember, okay? okay? So farting. Who's farting? What's farting? Are you Melody's hearing farting. it, seeing it? Okay, so you have somebody in mind for that. Fair enough. Okay, so somebody's in there <laughs> farting. Okay, where are we going to go now? Farting. The bathroom. Is 14. Is 14. Okay, so we're in the bathroom now. Mm-hmm. The farting's coming from the bathroom. Can we look at something else in the bathroom, or do we need to move on to somewhere else? The bathroom else? has a door next to Melanie's room. Okay, and who's Melanie? My Your sister. sister. Okay, okay. So you've got a door connecting to Melanie's room. Okay, so now look at the door. Okay. We just did 14, which was? Farting. Just wanted to hear you say it. Okay. <laughs> 15 is fitting. Fitting. Okay, so look at the door. Um, let's do something to the door that reminds us of that term fitting. Does the door fit properly? Is it too big, too small? Change it, make it strange. You can make it look like a cartoon if you want to, it doesn't matter. Okay, okay. 15, fitting, right? 15, fitting. We're up to 15 already. You're gonna remember all this, you know that. Okay. Uh, okay, so we walk through the door. Now we're in Melanie's room, right. yeah? So that's 16, sitting. Like, to sit down, sitting. sitting. Okay. So look for something that you're going to sit on. Okay. Or an area you're going to sit in the room, okay? okay. You're in Melanie's room, 16, sitting. Okay. Now, look on her bed. We're going to put a magazine on her bed. Okay. 17, magazine. 17, magazine. 17, magazine. <laughs> we even call it 17, magazine, okay? So it's right there on the bed. Okay. Now, 18, waiting. Was there a clock in Melanie's room? Not that I know of. Okay, let's change that. Let's put a giant clock in Melanie's room. And there's always going to be a clock in Melanie's room. Okay. Sitting, 16, sitting. 17, 17, 17 magazine. magazine. Where is it? On Melanie's bed. On her bed, right? Now, you look at the wall of Melanie's room. What is there? A giant clock, right? Waiting. 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 Okay. okay. So you're waiting. Got it? Eighteen Got it. waiting. Okay. Now, is there a window in there too? Or is it time yes. to move on? There's a window? There is a window. Okay. Look out the window and I'm going to tell you what you're going to see. Okay. Lightning. Nineteen lightning. Nineteen lightning. Nineteen lightning. You're looking out the window, lightning. Okay. Okay. The last thing, twenty. Penny. The coin, a penny. Ten. So you look outside, 19, lightning, now in your pocket, 20, penny. Okay. Got it? All right. That's 20 things. Now what we're actually going to be able to do is go back through that palace. We're going to be able to place other things, and you're going to be able to remember them. But just to be sure, let's go back through our palace and make sure that it all looks good. Okay. Okay. And we can, we can start at the beginning. That's okay. Let's do that. So at the beginning, we're standing out the front of an archway, I believe. Right? And what do you see there? A gun. Gun. One gun. Yeah. Two. Is a shoe. Is a shoe. And where is it? At the front door. Front door. So two, shoe, at the door. Three. The tree. Tree. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now where are we going? Into your room, right? Yes. Four. This door. Door. You see the door. Where is it? On the bunk bed, right? Yes. Is that what I remember? Okay. Yes. Good. <laughs> Five. There's a beehive, beehive in the window. And that, that strange window, okay. Six. 
This is a tough one to actually visualize for some people. Sticks. Sticks. Okay, I'm curious. What were you seeing? How do you see the sticks in this area? I picture like giant gnarly branch like sticks like Beautiful. coming out of the ground. So this is bursting out of the ground. Beautiful. As long as you can remember it, that's fine. Okay. Seven. Seven. It's my couch. Couch heaven. Right. <laughs> Eight. Are you looking out the window? At the gate. At the gate. Okay. Nine. We're going into that little nook, right? Yeah. Is that what wine. I Wine. Mean? Wine. Okay. Nine, wine, ten. There's a hen that's hen. jumping you out of my cabinet. <laughs> Eleven. Poor. Kevin is stuck in my fridge. Okay. Twelve. <laughs> it's hell. Hell. It is hell, right? It's over there in the sea. Okay. Thirteen. Is Melanie farting? No, it's hurting. Hurting. It's hurting. Thirteen hurting. So. So make sure you see, clearly see that. How are you hurting? Okay, let's make sure you get that nice and fixed, right? 13, okay. hurting. 14. It's farting. Farting, coming from the <laughs> bathroom. And that's your sister, Melanie, okay. So you walk in, 15. 15, you're already in the bathroom. Now you're looking at a door to your sister's it's room. Fitting. Fitting. Yeah. 15, fitting. What do you see for that? What are you seeing in your head? Honestly, like a twisted door. Hey, beautiful. That works for you. Okay, you go through the door. 16. Is sitting. Sitting. 17. Magazine. On the bed. 18. Waiting. Looking at a giant clock. 19. Lightning. Out the door. Then you pull what out of your pocket? A penny. And that's number? 20. Beautiful. Okay, good. <sighs> you ready to test this out? Oh, good. Okay. Now... I want you to just take a deep breath and relax. Because we just went back and did all that, it is now stuck in your mind. It's burnt in, into your mind. You see, the thing is, is, we remember things visually. Hundreds of years ago, if you wanted to go hunting or go fishing, you had to remember how to get to things, how to get to these places, right? right? So you'd look at these visual clues to make sure that you could get to the important hunting or fishing places. We don't need to use that anymore, but we remember visually. So you're going to remember these things. Okay, so now that we've done with all that, let's go ahead and we'll start remembering things, okay? I'm gonna give right. you something to put in every one of those 20 positions. And I'm just gonna give them to you in order. And as I give it to you, it's gonna to walk to the next place in your memory palace and incorporate it as part of the image. And I'll give you some help with the very first one, okay? Okay. First one, beach ball. Okay, so beach ball at the archway, gun you can morph that gun you can change that image to incorporate the ball so maybe the beach ball is like this tough guy got a big cigar big machine gun firing okay. away at the arch whatever it may be but that's your image right okay. beach ball okay okay next giant like okay. jack and the beanstalk giant okay <laughs> number three blue the color blue okay okay next uh why don't we do barney barney the dinosaur you know, like for the kids, right? Barney the dinosaur. Incorporate okay. it into the image. Morph it, change it. Okay. Okay. Next, number five, I want you to remember Princess Diana. <laughs> Princess Diana. Somehow incorporate okay. Princess Diana. Okay, you got it? Got it. Okay. Next, I want you to remember... Michael Jackson. Okay. So he's doing something there in that image. Okay. Got it? Okay. Next. Um, what would be a good one? Racing car. Some of these are going to be difficult and you've got to make it work. You've got to make it funny, interesting. Okay. Locked in? Yep. Okay. Don't try to remember, don't try to repeat or anything in your head. Just put them there and make it very memorable and move on. Okay. Okay, next, eight, right? This time I want you to remember a unicorn. All right. Okay, unicorn. Next, Starbucks. So how are you going to incorporate Starbucks? Got it? Okay. Okay, next, sunglasses. So 
So 10 sunglasses. How are you going to do that? Okay, good. You've got an image. I can see that. Okay. <laughs> 11, bikini. Really? <laughs> okay, good. Okay. 12, it, it's great. You're going to remember this. 12, cow. Okay. You're going to remember anything. Anything you want to remember, you can incorporate it into the image. Okay. Okay. Uh, 13, let's go with B. Okay. B. 14, volcano. Okay. Volcano, right? Don't worry, I'm not going to ask how you remember this. <laughs> 15, let's go with airport. Hmm. That's right. I'm giving her a tough one, but this is important. This will really stretch the way you're, how creative you could be. And I know you can be a very creative person because I know that you do artwork as well, correct? Yeah. So apply that creative talent to this. So airport is 15. Okay. Okay. Now let's move on. Uh, clown. Like a circus clown. Okay. Got it? Next thing will be the city of New York. Alright. Yeah? Yeah. Next one, monkey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Monkey. Got it? Yeah. Then we'll go to... Let's go to pancakes. I'm hungry. Pancakes. Which number is this? What was the last one we just did? 18. So this is 19. Okay, good. So, no worries. Okay. So... You remember what you're looking at? Yeah. For for this one, pancakes. You're giving me the oddest oh, images. It doesn't matter. You have to be able to remember absolutely anything. Okay, pancakes, right? Okay. And the very last one, and it may change the image on your penny. You can do anything you want with it, but you're going to incorporate it and make it very, very vivid. Okay. All right. You ready? Mm -hmm. Graduation. Okay. Graduation. Got it. Got it. Okay. Good. High five. Let's go. You just remember 20 things. And I'll prove it, okay? Okay. You ready to go back through? All right. Okay, let's start right back at the beginning. Okay, ready? Now, all I want you to do is tell me the last object I gave you to put in each thing. Okay. So, one, what was it? Beach ball. Two, what was it? Giant. Three. Blue. Four. Let's just see the image. It's okay, we'll come back to it. Five. Is Princess Diana. Princess Diana, very good. Okay, six. I know what four is. What was four? Barney. Barney, absolutely right. Good, see? It just came back. And here's a trick. If you relax, move on, you can always come back to it. If you remember it vividly, you're going to remember it. Okay, good. So, four was Barney. Five was... Princess Diana. Six. Michael Jackson. Seven. A race car. Eight. A unicorn. Nine. Starbucks. Ten. Sunglasses. Eleven. <laughs> a bikini. Twelve. A cow. Thirteen. A bee. Fourteen. A volcano. Fifteen. An airport. 16. Clown. 17. New York City. 18. Was a monkey. 19. Pancakes. And 20. Graduation. How does that feel? <laughs> that feels pretty good, right? Yeah. Watch this. What was number six? Michael Jackson. What was number three? Blue. Which number was cow? Twelve. Which number was volcano? That was... Fourteen. Which number was monkey? Eighteen. And that's how you do it. Well done.